<laughs> Good evening, everyone. Right now it's 10.47. Oh, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Did anyone see that documentary yesterday? It was all about the history of wrestling, and it was actually quite entertaining. Oh, is K.K. Slider going to be here today? I hadn't even thought about that. Hmm. Maybe I should have started like 20 minutes ago. I was doing other stuff. Stupid bug nut. Yuka. Huh, okay. Random, but okay. I mean, Yuka's cool. I wear today. Ooh, that'd be cute. And what would be a good shoe? Yeah, sure, that's kind of cute. We haven't worn the hard apron in a while. So yeah, it's just another late night of bug hunting. Maybe we'll get, like, one more thing if we're lucky. I am pressing up on the controller. I have no idea what it was doing. All right, praise beyond a helix. Let's let's go find some fossils, I guess. Now, because we're doing it so late at night, everything is closed, which is bar normal here nowadays. the relaxing 10 o'clock at night music. That was something. Maybe something important, even. Oh, I did cut down all of those trees yesterday and haven't removed a single stump. <gasps> hey, flick old buddy old pal. How you doing? Yes, I was close enough. Yes, woo! We got the golden stag! Does this mean I can retire? <laughs> so there is our one beetle for the day. We will not find a single other one. I got lucky with the golden stag. Now I'm not going to find anything else. I've been around this circle before. Honestly, I, I expect the golden stag to look more golden. Maybe because I'm thinking of golden beetles in New Leaf that were, like, legitimately golden. You know what may also be screwing everything up is all these stumps. Because beetles can spawn on these stumps. Maybe I should get rid of them. Maybe. Let's hit a rock. Honestly, I shouldn't even waste my time with rocks that don't matter today. Maybe I'll conserve some shovel. So 
So the bug I'm looking for technically can't spawn for another, like, ew, like 10-ish minutes. I could say I'm trying to conserve my shovel, but I do... The reason I was trying to conserve my shovel was because I didn't have the materials to make a new one. I'm pretty sure I do now. I just got an email. Gosh dang it. Oh, I guess KK... Because I know there is the fishing tournament tomorrow, and I'm assuming that would screw with KK Slider, but... Maybe not. Because I know previously when the fishing tournament was... Or when the bug tournament was Saturday, they had it scheduled up a day early. And maybe that's just coincidence. Nope, just another rock. Because I am low, low on inventory space. That's a real problem. Oh, hey, Bianca's in the flowers. I see our money tree over there. Don't know what that was. Probably a Mayama. Fossil number two. There's a horned beetle. Uh, that's a saw stag. See, the only tree beetles I can find right now are the cicada shell and the other thing that don't show up this, that hasn't shown up yet. At least I think so. Cicada shell and walking stick, which isn't available right now. Yep. So, I've been playing, um... So, I talked yesterday about playing Shovel Knight, uh, King of Cards again. I played some more after the stream yesterday, and then I beat the game this morning. It did not go well. I mean, I beat the game, and like, combat-wise, I didn't have that many problems. Combat-wise, things went pretty well. However, card-wise, it was a disaster. Card-wise, everything went terribly. So what happened was, I, so there, there's the card game. Now, I've beaten the game once before. I technically didn't 100% it because I didn't get all the cards. I also learned there was a weapon I somehow, early on at like the first Joustus house, you get like a trumpet that allows you to like recover fallen items and whatnot. Somehow I had missed that trumpet in my first ever playthrough. And I could not tell you how. Somehow I missed the... Tr it was It's like the trumpet that blows confetti. I I don't know how I missed it. But somehow I did. And I'm, I'm willing to admit that. I didn't even know I'd missed it. I thought I was just going crazy. But nope. I found, I found it this time around. It cost like 5,000 bucks. Which is pennies in that game. God, uh, it gives you a lot of money. But so, the combat-wise, things were going well. It was when I got to... Oh. I didn't realize I still had a full inventory. That's the third... I feel like I've gotten umbrella stands three days in a row. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to clear out my inventory at some point. There's our money tree. There's another fossil. But yeah, so I was playing through it, and I'm doing the card battles, and I thought I knew how they worked. Holy shit! 
did the card battles this time around just kick my ass. I got utterly defeated in every aspect. It went terribly. I mean, I still beat them all. Okay, well, I did, there's kind of like a secret end game boss sort of thing. Like, that's basically like a Final Fantasy boss. I'm trying not to give away spoilers here. And I technically haven't done that yet. Just because it's such a massive pain in the ass. And it is it's it is the hardest bo boss in the qu quartet, in the four games. It kicked my ass last time I did it. I'll take five fossils, sure. It kicked my ass. And I, I, I'll probably be better. Because, like, the final boss of King of Cards also originally kicked my ass. But the most recent time I did it, it went a lot better when I just did it earlier today. So it'll probably go better now that I know how it, like, works and everything. But I really don't want to do it. I'd rather not deal with it personally, because I know it's going to be a pain in the ass. But yeah, no, I've been... I, I still... I do enjoy it now. Like, having taken that time off between playing it for the first time and playing it now, I do definitely have a bigger appreciation for it than I did before. I would definitely say so. I still gotta do all that bonus game stuff, right? I still I gotta do that boss. Oh. That's good to hear, Mush. And good to see you. Good to see on you, my my fabulous late night bug hunt. That will probably end terribly. Like it always does. Oh, and Flick's here today, so I'm finally gonna sell those scorpions. We'll see how much that's worth. Probably like 40. How do I? Oh, because I got one from an island yesterday. That's why I have six. I'm about to go. Oh, I did not mean to hit that one. Well, are you are you gonna be around tomorrow? Cause tomorrow around, uh, I don't know, probably eleven Pacific time, maybe twelve Pacific time. I'm gonna do the fishing tournament, and I want to open up my island and have people over. And I'd love to have you. I'm obliged to ask that you would like to learn more about this specimen. Ah, I see. In that case, mm hmm. Yes, yes. This golden stag beetle is a quite prized thanks to its metallic gold coloring. But let me speak plainly. The gold stag is not made of gold. It is made of bug. Through and through. And thus it's vile. Gold stag. Boom. Gross. More like eh. Anywho. Sincere thanks for your donation. Alright. I know we have a few bugs that we can give to Flick. And then we gotta, I gotta go put the stuff in storage. What I can, anyways. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow, last time. Huh. Yeah. Cause yeah, I, I'm ho hopefully I do better in this fishing tournament than I did in the last one. The last one went terribly. Oh, wow, those are worth a lot. I wonder how much these scorpions are going to be worth. It's probably going to be 40. Alright, let's go put... Let's go... I should really just... Actually, wait, what was this? A dionomy tail. I guess so. Skull, saber tooth skull. An almanite. Whatever that is. 
I just noticed you had a YouTube. Oh, I've been doing YouTube for a long time now. I mean, it's not all been good, but yeah. I mean, and there's the, there's the normal YouTube, and then there's the stream archive. Um, I'm going to sell this tomorrow. And I'll drop this. Alright, we're going to sell all that junk tomorrow, but I don't have a storage. Let's go put the rest in the house. Stuff I actually want to keep. Even though, God, I haven't done stuff on my main YouTube channel since either January or since I started doing this. I need to. I do need to finish Star and Steven. I, re I really need to get back to that. I'm just so bad. And then I also wanted to talk about Avatar. At one point when I rewatched it, but I never got around to it. God damn it, I'm terrible. Not like I would have had anything insightful to say. I mean, everybody's talked about Avatar. It's just... Eh, I had some... I just wanted to reaffirm how much I love it. Because it's good. I mean, I can probably still get away with it. People are still talking about it. Right, right. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much we get for some of these scorpions. I'll probably have to do it in two patches. I should pull up a calculator to math it out. Bianca, are you dealing with a scorpion infection? And we get rid of these... And I just realized, we get rid of these scorpions the two days before we gotta buy turnips. My voice was so different. Depends on how far back you go. I mean, go back far enough and... Oh, yeah. But I've been, I, I'd like to say consist, I was consistent during the golden years. I mean, I probably got better during the golden years. Honestly. Back in... God, was that 2016? Maybe 2017? Uh, how many? Three more. Uh, DIY. Display on ground. Alright, let's go sell this first cachet. Should only take two cachets. Hopefully. Did the clock? Yeah, the clock did tick over. Okay. That was exactly what I was looking for right there, I bet. That was that giant stag. A lot of my old stuff is trash. Like any poke, any of the Pokemon stuff, where it was just recorded with cam, like a handheld camera. Oh god, that was that was the time. But it's all garbage. I'm I'm willing to admit that. Even a lot of stuff. Once I did get a microphone, is garbage. There's only a few things that are good. That, and I'm watching them again. I'd probably hate all of it. Where's my calculator? Oh, there it is. Three, two, four, zero, zero, zero. So how do you have... Because my Twitch... My YouTube followers and my Twitch followers don't really overlap. I don't know. Maybe because I haven't promoted my Twitch on my YouTube in a long time. Especially since I started doing Animal Crossing. Even though I've been streaming on Twitch for arguably like four or five years now. Shit. Have I crossed a have I crossed a million views yet or not not a million. Was it maybe it was a million, I don't remember. No, I have not crossed a million yet. I am so close to a million views on YouTube. Nine, eight, two, eight, four, eight, nine, or eight, nine, four. One day. 
guess your turnips. Um, if I had to guess, uh, okay, let me probability. I would guess around the one, somewhere between like 180 and like 200 ish, 210 ish. Oh my God, you got a 560 as well. You got a 500. Holy sh! God damn it. Maybe that's the key. Maybe the key is just not to buy turnips. And that's how you get the high prices. <laughs> I mean, my prices were like 210, which is the highest I've ever gotten off a small spike before. And I didn't buy turnips. Plus one four four zero zero zero. So yeah, we got four 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 hundred thousand sixty eight thousand four hundred and sixty eight thousand bells. Not bad. We got a lot of bells from just our things, and we'll have room in our inventory for turnips in two days. Tomorrow's fishing though. Uh, and fishing will be fun. But I still have more beetles to catch. It's a huge jump. That's how large spikes work. Lar well, usually how it goes is it goes like 90, and then somewhere is in like the 150s. And then it can jump anywhere from like 250 to like freaking... To 600. Uh, deposit... Put that much in. Oh, we broke 11. Not bad. And those scorpions were worth good money. Not as much as turnips would have been if I had bought turnips. But some good money. Because, yeah, I got turnips the same night I did, um... I caught turnips the same night we did, or... I, I caught the scorpions the same night, the same day as turnips. Okay, time to hunt some beetles. I'm missing three of them. I'm, yeah, I'm missing three that I can get at this time. So maybe I can uh, get one. I've gotten one. Now let's just get the other, the other three. It's really the bugs that are keeping me up late. Like all this bug hunting. I was a minute late to buy turnips. God. I hate that she goes away at noon. That's way too early in my opinion. I got a scarab. That might sell for good money. It's one of the two nighttime beetles I'm looking for. Yeah, so I've been playing Shovel Knight. I also... I do kind of want to play, now that I've done King of Cards. Like the last time... Like, there was a time where I was just like, you know, I want to play the... I think it was just the original Shovel Knight again. So I played it, and then I was like, you know, I want to play Plague of Shadows again. Oh, now I'm, I want to play Spectre of Torment. I should probably just replay through all four Shovel Knight campaigns while I'm here. I mean, I can probably knock them... Look, King of Cards takes me forever. It took me almost, like, ten hours to beat King of Cards. And I, I, I wasn't trying to speedrun or anything. Just at like a normal p pace, collecting all the medals, getting all the, getting all the car, getting as many cards as I could, losing a bunch of card games. God, I lost so many. It still took me about 10 hours. I can do most of the other campaigns in like less than five. And luckily, because I have Flick here, I don't have to worry about selling all these beetles. Fish are going to be a different story, but... Not like there's anything I can really look for at this time of night. God, I'm going to have to do another day of bait to get the blue marlin. 
Yeah. Then what else? What did I want to talk about? God, I had a few things. Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to talk about. There was a Nintendo presentation this morning. The uh, Nintendo presentation with uh, paper Mar showing off Paper Mario. Let me, let me, my one note, let me pull up my main note. Either way, if you buy turnips for a wide price, it'll be too late because it's already 10 11. Not like I can buy turnips for another two days. I, I have to wait until Sunday, which just sucks. So, Paper Mario and the Treehouse Direct, plus something new from WayForward. My first note is just the word awkward. Yep. My second note is the word yikes. That's how I sum up this pres this presentation. It was like an hour long. I'd sum it up with those two word. Two words. Yikes and awkward. It was terrible. If you are at all interested in this Paper Mario game, do not watch this treehouse thing. It was terrible it, it like it does not sell the game at all if anything it makes the game look worse i have to go now yeah i'll catch you tomorrow i i don't i'm going to tr give me a second let me get this beetle i'm gonna try to get around 11 pacific or yeah 11 or 12 pacific time hopefully sometime in there okay and then i'll invite people over and we'll do the fishing tourney because I, from my theorize that the fishing tourney works better as a team. I caught the giant stag. That's one of the bugs I actually needed. I think. The giant stag. Yep. There we go. With that, there were four. Three of which I should be able to get during this time. That doesn't mean I can. So I don't even have to focus on these trees anymore. Ooh, an empire butterfly. So the Mario Direct, it the it a treehouse, it was awful. I'll prob I because because I stream Animal Crossing every day, I have a rule that I can't go past midnight. So I'll probably stop at like eleven fifty nine. Them's the rules. Eventually, one day I will break that rule and go for like a full like two hours and just count it as two days. <laughs> Something like that. One day I'll do that. But that ain't tonight, because we got bug tournament tomorrow. Let's do laughter. <laughs> That's good. One day I'm going to have to do at like 3 a.m. Because that's when the um, TV thing happens. Where like the aliens show up on TV. One day I'm going to have to do that. I should probably do that before summer ends. Maybe in August. Maybe in early August. Ooh, he's playing Super Nintendo. So yeah, the the Paper Mario presentation was terrible. Every time somebody talked, somebody else would stop talking. Would start talking. They always kept talking over each other and that's a timing thing now other streaming pla like streamers have been able to get over that right i've seen other streamers have this problem or like groups right groups of streamers have this problem where they keep talking over each other especially with like the delay that a stream has i get that it happens but it was this is the worst i have ever seen it with them talking over each other but what made it so unbearable, in my opinion, was that every time they talked over each other, they apologized. They apologized. Like, it was like, oh, Evan said something. And then Evan, and then, and then uh, Katie said something. And then Evan apologized for talking over Katie. And then one of them talked. It was unbearable bearable and it happened they they did it for the entire 30 minutes they were playing paper mario it was the 
worst thing ever. Oh my god, it was... You know, Nintendo... I remember when Nintendo, like, went into the digital streaming thing with their Nintendo Directs. They mostly did pretty well. And while the Treehouse segments at E3 were never amazing, they were still pretty good. But this is just... Com Nintendo doesn't get the internet. And nowheres has that shown more than this stream. Holy shit. It, it was bad. It was fucking bad. It did not help sell the game at all. The gameplay segments they showed were still very simple. Again, I don't know what to think of this game. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. I'm waiting for the reviews personally. I know a lot of people have beat it already. And I just... When the review embargo goes up, which... I'm assuming the review embargo is going to break Monday, because today's Friday. I don't, time has become an illusion to me. It felt like it was Monday yesterday. Time has become an utter... No, it felt like it was Tuesday yesterday. Time has become an utter illusion to me. Also, doesn't help my, my sleep schedule is absolute shit, but... Mm. Eh. But this presentation was terrible. And then they got to the part that every that most of the people were actually watching for. Nintendo announced in their tweet that when they were doing this that they were going to show off a new game by the company WayForward. Now WayForward's handled a bunch of games in the past, and they've made some good ones, Shantae, um, other stuff. So I was like, oh, maybe this will be good, right? Maybe maybe it'll be like a new IP or something along those lines. It was not that. It was definitely not that. Right? I was expecting, like, a new IP. Because we weren't getting a new Shantae. It's been... We got a new Shantae game a few months ago. I don't know. I feel like the Shantae game just came out a few weeks ago. But according to my calendar, it came out last year. Which is surprising me. But, eh. So, I don't know. I didn't really... But I wasn't expecting much. Right? Maybe like a new IP. Because we know that Nintendo put out a separate tweet. And the way I interpreted it was that it, it, it meant that Yacht Club... Or that way forward, I mean, wasn't working on a Nintendo IP. They weren't making their own cadence of Hyrule. Or a lot of people thought it'd be really cool if they made a Wario game. There was, people were talking about Metroid. I, I, don't, I think that's a meme. But a lot of people were like, oh, what if they announced, uh, like, a Wario Land? Which we knew wasn't going to happen because of Nintendo's addendum tweet. But, it just, I was expecting something, right? Something a little interesting, maybe. Something with, like, if they're showing it off during this, if they're tweeting out that they're going to be showing it off, I kind of want something interesting, right? Something a little, with a little bit of pizzazz in it. They instead were, how did I hit that beetle? They instead revealed Bakugan Battle for Destroya, Destroya, which is exclusive to Nintendo Switch. Makes sense why it's in the Nintendo stream, but this this is like a sizzle reel announcement. You know what Nintendo should have just done? Instead of letting even just a, I've always said hype is dangerous, right? Hype in Nintendo fans are a dangerous combination, like explosives. Even just a day of hype with tempered expectations that this was just going to be a small third party game, this still managed to be a letdown. Holy shit, was I let down. And now it is admittedly partially because it was Baku Gop. Ooh. Ooh. It is admittedly because it was partially Bakugan. Now, I think they rebooted Bakugan the show recently, and this is like the tie-in game for that new show, maybe. As a kid, I like Bakugan. I could, if you asked me to find one of my Bakugan figures, I probably could end easily. I think I know where one is. I did like Bakugan. I own the Bakugan game on Nintendo DS, but I grew up. Okay, admittedly, I think it might have been my brother's and it just kind of ended up in my collection, but still, 
I grew out of it. It's it, like I can still enjoy like the Pokemon anime or the Yu-Gi-Oh anime, and I watch the Bakugan anime. Not anymore. The ba that's like Pokemon can be very dumb and very childish. I think Bakugan's even worse. It's probably on par with something like Yokai Watch. And there were there there and it the anime had its moments. Specifically, there was this one like, who cares? Spoilers. There, so it's the five of it, so it's the main six group, and each of the six group like represented their own element: fire, water, earth, wind, light, and dark. I think those were the elements of Bakugan. God, it's been years. And they have members that represent each of the elements, except for Dark, because that's what the villain represents. However, on the main team, there's a girl named, it was like Alice or something, and she didn't, she just wasn't a Bakugan or, or whatever the hell you call it. And the twist is like 50 episodes in, because again, it's, it's an anime, like Pokemon, that the villain is actually like an alternate personality an alternate personality of the girl Alice. And as a kid, I was like, "Oh shit." Okay, I didn't say shit cuz I was a kid. And when I say as a kid, this was like 10 years ago now. This I this I was not that young. But when I was a kid, it was like really cool. I thought it was a good twist. Yes, that's new. That's giraffe, I guess. D or do I have that cyc cyclomastus? Huh, I don't remember having something with horns that big. Huh, I don't remember that. I must. Huh, I guess I did. I, that did not look familiar to me at all. Huh, I was really paranoid about that because I figured that was like the giraffe or something. Because the beetle I thought was the giraffe wasn't. That was like the elephant or something. I don't know. Eh. eh, it's another beetle to sell to Flick. I've got a few. But yeah, so the the twist that Alice was the villain... What was the villain's name? Like, Masquerade or something like that? I thought it was a really good twist. Because throughout the entire show, you know that the that the girl's grandfather is, like, the main villain. Who is, who is being controlled by, like, the evil Bakugan or whatever the shit was. But yeah, so I thought it was like a... I liked that twist as a kid. And then eventually she takes the evil... She's able to like conquer her evil personality and joins up and joins up with the main squad and helps them fight her grandfather who's like the main villain. I thought it was really cool as a kid. It's the only part of the show that I remember really liking. Watching it again though... I watched it again, I don't know, a few years ago. It's pretty bad. Like, it's probably not the worst thing I've ever seen. Not by a long shot. I mean, I watched Handshakers, for Christ's sake. But it ain't good. It isn't pretty. And, so yeah, I have no interest in a new Bakugan game. None whatsoever. And most people are probably going to be this way. I mean, sure, if you're like a younger kid who who's interested in it, yeah, sure, you'll probably have a good time. And I'm sure the new anime probably isn't pretty decent. I mean, if I was a kid, I mean, I was a kid and I liked the anime, so it must have it was probably doing something right. I legitimately don't remember. And then there, and that was like the first season of the anime. They went on to have like five more seasons, and I don't remember a single fucking thing that happened after that. Like I know it kept going. But I, I couldn't tell you a single thing. I just know it was crazy times. 
I think eventually, like, they, the Bakugan went away because they were, like, living figures. And then somehow they, like, met them in, like, they, they went the Digimon route and they met them in, like, the net code or something like that. Something crazy like that happened. Or because they couldn't battle Bakugan anymore, they made, um... Is that the Cicada Shell? They made Digital Bakugan. I think that's the Cicada Shell. Holy shit, that's the Cicada Shell. Then there were two. Both of them 5 p.m. Beatles. And then I'm still technically missing a fish, but... I am so close to being done. No, then there were three. I forgot about the walking stick. Shit, one day I'm gonna have to do a... F God damn it, one day I'm gonna have to get for that walk. That walking stick's eluded me up to this point, and I don't know why. But yeah. Bakugan was weird, man. Ew, I got an achievement for something. I should go say hi to, like, Whitney and somebody else. I think I saw them walking around. Cicada memories. All cicada uh, cicadas in the summer, they're not... But collecting them does help create summer memories. Oh, that's actually... So then, the fact that it has its own achievement would lead me to believe cicadas' shells are actually kind of rare. I mean, I have no proof of that. But that's what it would lead me to think. Hey, Rolf, what's up? Nice walking weather, ain't it? And here I was running to you. But yeah, so, so the Nintendo presentation this morning was terrible. And that's fine. Everybody fucks up. I mean, Microsoft just fucked up a few days ago. It happens. It happens, you know? What the heck is this? I caught... Ooh, that's the giraffe stag? Then there were two. I'm just missing the horned Hercules. Wow. Tonight's going well. I mean, that's three right there. Wow. If only, if only. Hey, Bianca, what what you thinking of boot? But where would I get a laser? Show me. I'll set you up with a mic stand. Actually, I think I do need that. Yeah, no problem, Bianca. You're pretty cool. So yeah, N Nintendo fucked up. I mean, Microsoft fucked up last and uh, back in. Oh god, that was two months ago. Yes, yeah, and there is that rumor of a Nintendo Direct right around the corner, which I'm still hopeful for. Yeah, sure. I mean, thing things will just because Nintendo fucked up today doesn't mean they can't do better in the future. And even with it, Nintendo. I feel like Nintendo is getting better. Like, their messaging behind this presentation, even though I think they should... Honestly, I think Nintendo's best move, or, and WayForward's best move, because I'd argue this hurt WayForward more than it hurt Nintendo, would have been to just tell us that this, they were showing off a new Bakugan game. WayForward should have announced, hey... Like, Nintendo should have announced this presentation. And then way forward, and then in like a, and then way forward should have followed up and said, "Hey, right after the presentation, we're showing off." Oh gosh, dang it, Whitney! Right afterwards, Nintendo should have followed up and said, or way forward should have followed up and said, "Hey, during that same presentation, we'll be showing off our new Bakugan game, Battle for Destroya," and just announce it there and say, "Hey, you'll see first gameplay tomorrow." That would have. That would have tempered expectations perfectly, and everything would have been fine. But instead, no, I, th I think WayForward's definitely going to take more of a hit from this than Nintendo will. 
Which kind of sucks, but that's just kind of how it is, I guess. Need a new bug nut. Yeah, that's just how it is. Speaking of presentations, though, there is one coming up. Ubisoft's new presentation is on the 12th. And I guess a lot of stuff from it has been leaking. So the big leak today was, I guess, the Indian PSN store put up a placeholder for the new Far Cry game. So we now... I don't think we have a trailer. Well, okay, we did get a teaser trailer. Because it looks like the villain... It, so the villain is played by um the villain of Breaking Bad. Uh, the villain, he was named Gus in Breaking Bad. And, like, he was the villain in, like, the third season. Third and fourth season. He's playing the villain in this new Far Cry game. And he's got a son. And the conspiracy theory is that his son might be the villain of the third Far Cry game. Which I know will make people excited. Because the third Far Cry game is kind of unanimously agreed to be the good one. Based on this leak, though... I have no interest in this game. Again, I haven't played a Far Cry game since 3. I did watch somebody play 4 and watch some of a playthrough of 4 and 5. And just reading the synopsis, this real the synop maybe I maybe I don't remember that much of 5 or 4, but the synopsis of this game really reminds me of the synopsis of uh 4. Like I remember 4 having a very similar setup to this. Maybe that's just how Far Cry worked. Far Cry needs a reboot, though. I feel like Far Cry is getting too samey. Like, they, they rebooted Assassin's Creed, and it's been doing great. They need to do the same thing for Far Cry. Take a year or two off and make a good game. Because it ain't working well right now, and people are just getting tired of it. Everyone I saw talk about this Far Cry leak is just like, I'm so tired of it. I mean, they were interested in the villain from the third game potentially being back. But for the most part, nobody really care. Nobody I saw really seemed to care about the um about the game in general. Maybe it's just the people I follow nowadays, and most of them don't like Far Cry anymore, which I don't blame them at all. But yeah. The other thing that got leaked is I guess Watchdog Watchdogs Legion had some leaks, and again, I, I made a comment a few days ago when talking about this Ubisoft presentation. Also, fuck Ubisoft. I can't believe I hadn't said that yet. But fuck Ubisoft. They are terrible. Fuck them. But there's a thing. So Ubisoft has Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Quarantine. Which isn't that ironic. Well, I guess in Watch Dogs Legion, according to the leaks, you, as you know, you can recruit anybody in the game. Right, you can recruit anybody to be like your main playable character, your allies, whatnot. A really interesting mechanic that I really like. Oh, also, Far Cry Six has crossplay, or like, um, it's called like smart sharing or something like that, where if you buy it on a PS4 or an X Bone, you have it on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. And I'm, I'm assuming Watch Dogs will work the same way, and probably Assassin's Creed. We might already know that for Assassin's Creed. But, so the Watch Dogs thing is you can play as anybody. That includes cops. You can have, you can recruit cops to be on your side, and once the cop is on your side, you can then use their corrupt powers to get your friends out of jail, to beat up people... Yeah, perfect timing, Ubisoft. Again, they don't they didn't plan it this way. And it's I think that's something if they're smart, they won't talk about. Like just let like sure that's leaked. And there was other stuff that leaked. That's the only thing I remember cuz fuck Ubisoft. I'm not going to go looking it up. But that's don't talk about that. Just let people discover that in the game and be outraged then. 
kind I mean, I know Watch Dogs Legion does take place in a post-Brexit United Kingdom where a totalitarian government was able to take place because they are post-Brexit. And yes, there is some irony to that. So a corrupt cop makes sense. But I, I just find it fucking funny. Of course, with all that being said, though, of a post-Brexit uh, United Kingdom that's faced with a totalitarian government, that's not political, according to Ubisoft. Nope, no politics there whatsoever. Fuck Ubisoft. We'll start talk about their show on Monday. Because I'll probably be getting turnips on Sunday. Probably. Oh god, I hope I can wake up early enough. <laughs> oh. Is that... What the heck is... Is that a... It's a rainbow stag, isn't it? Looked kind of familiar. What time is it? Oh, we still got time. I just need to find one more beetle. In the next, like, ten minutes. can't carry anything. I'll just let it go. Alright, let's go donate some beetles to the museum and then give the rest to Flick. Because Flick is here. I know, I think I also have a shark or two in my inventory. Eh, whatever. I cannot... The only thing we're missing is the, Her the Horned Hercules. Once I get that, we've got them all. It went surprisingly fast tonight. I mean, we still got time. Hello, Thag? Thag1223, how you doing on this night? And Hercules, Giraffe Stag, and Giant Stag. Or Cicada, did I say Cicada Shell? Yeah. So that's all we got. So we are missing one... One beetle that we can theoretically get in the next ten minutes. Oh, we can theoretically have this done tonight. Doing ma? I'm, do I'm doing fine. I mean, I played Shovel Knight, and Shovel Knight's still really an amazing game. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing on the up and up. Been reading some books... So I kind of, I'm so close to finishing it. it. It's, it's good. It's, I don't. I like the premise of off to be the wizard. I just, I have some complications with it. Maybe they'll wrap it up in the end. Maybe they'll tie everything in a nice little bow. That's what I've been mostly doing today. After I beat uh, King of Cards, I've just been reading. Cause there's like six books. And if I'm ever going to finish all six, I got to start working on them eventually. Come on, you beetles. I don't even know what the one I'm, I like am looking for. I'm villager hunting right now and I have no luck. I have also had ter the only good thing I have ever found villager hunting is I found Zucker. Other than that, I have had terrible luck. God, I found Beardo twice. <laughs> that was terrible. Funny, but terrible. 
oh yeah, there's a trivia game. So I've been I, I listen to Kind of Funny a lot, and in it they were talking about a trivia game called. Uh, I'm looking up something real quick. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's called Trivia Royale. It's like a battle royale trivia game with like a thousand people. And I saw them talking about it on Kind of Funny. I was like, you know, I'll give th I'll give that a chance. I'm not bad at trivia. First game I got in the top 50. Which I mean, that's not I mean, 50 out of a thousand's good, but eh. And it was the question I screwed up was like so dumb as well. It was like what was the what's the capital of Morocco or something like that. It wasn't Morocco, it was some other country, but yeah. Yeah. And then I did the Pokemon one and just tied everybody. Cuz the po cuz there are like you can do like general trivia or you can do like specific trivia for like different subjects like video games. I think there might be an Animal Crossing one actually. But I did I saw Pokemon and I was like, oh, I know I know all my I could probably name every Pokemon. Probably not. Like, if you like showed me a picture, I could probably name every Pokemon, is what I mean. I'm not Joe Maverick. Oh my god. He's crazy. Naming every Pokemon in order. But he runs he runs Cerebi for a reason. Yeah, and I, I, I did good at the Pokemon. I did okay at video games. There's one for, like... Diablo 3 that I've never played, so I didn't get that one right. Because I've never played Diablo 3. But other than that, I did pretty good at the video game section as well. They were some of the easiest freaking questions. Like, there was one that was like, what is this video game console? And it was a TurboGrafx-16 with the word TurboGrafx-16 written on the console. Yep. Yep, pretty standard stuff. Yeah, I messed around with that for like, I don't know, like half an hour. Probably while I was listening to Kind of Funny Games Daily this morning. When they were talking about the Far Cry leak. I'll play it for like a week and then never touch it again. There's so many shitty mobile games. I know there's a few good ones. I mean, I have Downwell and Mini Metro. And those are pretty good games. But the majority of indie games suck. Or mobile games suck. Especially, like, anything that's not Apple Arcade. Like, if you want the good stuff, you get Apple Arcade. And even still, con console gaming is better. Even though Apple Arcade and whatever the Google Play version is, they tryin'. Oh, lordy, they tryin'. What if... I do the path running out like this. And then I do the museum up. I just got the golden beetle like an like 20 minutes, 30 minutes ago. I just barely got it. No, it was probably close. Oh god, have I been going for an hour? Okay, it was a little closer to probably an hour ago now. <laughs> but I've been going for an hour. Honestly, the, I found the cicada shell harder to get. I've been looking for the cicada shell every day. And the first one I saw was tonight. Shit. I actually wonder, are there constellations in this game? It'd be kind of cool if there was. But I can't tell. I mean, I see things that I could make constellations out of. But nothing I'd call a constellation. I don't know my shit well enough. And honestly, also, it'd be really cool if they did have constellations, though. Because isn't there a comet going through in the Northern Hemisphere right now? Like, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere for the next, like, three days. 
what I thought constellations were wild world in city folk. I thought they got rid of constellations in New Leaf. I could be wrong about that. Well, I mean constellations as like a feature of the game. Cuz I you I th I think in Wild World you could make your own constellations. But I could if in New Leaf there was like the natural constellations like there are in the real world, I would not be surprised. Like, if I could look up right now and see Orion, I would not be surprised. Is, Ori is Orion this time of year? Like, are those three stars right there, Orion? Yeah, yeah, you got me mixed up. I don't know, there's... Th I haven't even played Wild World, I just know. Because that's one of the cooler features in Wild World. And it'd be cool if, when you met Celeste, you could make your constellations in this game, but nope. Nope, nothing. Eh. What time is it? Okay, I've still, I've still got like five minutes. Five minutes to find one more bug. And then I'm free. And then I'm finally free from bugs. Okay, well, I do have the walking stick. But, eh. That won't be that hard. Hopefully. She used to work at the museum. Yeah, I, I remember her working at the museum. She would sell you storage boxes at the museum in New Leaf. I miss those storage boxes. I would, like, I would always, like, make my own museum exhibits. Like, I had a storage box for gyros. That was, like, my gyro exhibit. I had a museum box for Mar Nintendo stuff from the fortune cookies. Cool stuff in that game. And that feature's gone. I just hope the cat when they bring back the cafe, which they will... I hope it's not part of the museum. I hope it's its own building. I also just kind of wish they would upgrade Leaf and Kix and get them out of the weekly rotation. Oh, that'd be so nice to not have to deal with Leaf or Kix. And maybe in an increased chance of spawning um, Red. Because God, Red is too rare in this game. He needs to be a weekly thing. But imagine if they did bring back the cafe, all the people in the island that are decked would have to redo it. It would be... <laughs> I think that was the beetle I was looking for. I think that was the beetle I was looking for. Shit. Shit. Because it had the long nose. Oh, I think that was it. <laughs> eh, if we try again tomorrow, if we go again tomorrow, we go again tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's the fishing tournament, and I'm definitely, I am definitely doing the fishing tournament at like, probably like, eleven noon Pacific time. I can't keep doing these late night streams. <laughs> Not always. Not until next month when more midnight bugs show up. <laughs> I've got a few things I can sell to the lick. I'd have to watch the replay on that bug to see if I was right. But I do totally think it was the one I was missing. Maybe, maybe in the archive. God, I, I need to fix the archive. I don't think I've updated the playlist in like two weeks now. Probably not since like episode 100. Don't know what that was, doesn't matter. Hey, Whitney. Oh, that is a shark. Okay, I was like, that looks like a shark. Ooh, big. 
Oh yeah, I'll take a great white. I'll sell that tomorrow to Flick. Assuming he'll buy my shit. I just had, or I just, I mean, did I say CJ? God, I keep screwing up CJ uh, Flick and Chip's names. Didn't I just have Chip here, CJ, uh, blah, 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 here yesterday? <laughs> I have screwed, I, I kept calling CJ Chip yesterday. It was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> I think it was yesterday. Again, time has become an utter illusion to me at this point. few more minutes game give me something just give me that last beetle end my suffering that's been going on the past 10 days honestly for 10 10 days getting almost all the beetles and almost all the fish that's not that bad i mean i know uh evan did it in like two but streaming an hour a day it's not that bad Okay, a little more than an hour. Did I see something over there? No. I mean, yeah, I'm going crazy. Get out of here, you stupid beetle. I just have a feeling next time you loop around, you're going to find it. Hey, speaking of Evan, there he is right now. Alright, let's see. Come on. Nothing. Okay, no time for another loop. Yeah, I can probably do another loop. Maybe even two. I just can't play after midnight. Nope, don't care about the balloon. Sure, Whitney, I'll take him. Flick should be around here. I hear that balloon. I saw it back there. I'm not even going to bother with it. It's going to be clay. It's always clay. We'll tr I'll try again on Monday. I'm gonna find Flick. I'll try again on Monday. Flick, where did you go? Don't you go disappearing on me, boy. There he is. This is making go mad you can't find the one. And that, and this has been my last 10 days. I mean, today went better than most others. I've gone for an hour and only found a single bug. Like a single other thing I was looking for. Tonight, I found basically half of what I was looking for. 
So tonight went better than normal. But I'll try again on Monday, and hopefully I'll get it. Maybe I'll also do some clams at some point, because I still need to get that blue marlin. I'll probably do that later in the week. I also kind of wanted to destroy that mountain. Ugh. Ah, we probably have time to do all of it this week. Oh yeah, thanks for talking by. Thanks for stopping by, Fig. Hopefully you have better you've had better luck than I do. Honestly, it was it was pretty decent tonight. I've definitely have it had it worse in the past. We'll keep the sharks on us because why not? And let's end off for the night. Yeah, tomorrow's the fishing tournament. I, I hope it goes well. I I hope I I've hope. I mean, if we get multiple people here, we can get gold. If multiple people stop by, gold could be an easy get. Probably in an hour. Probably. I don't know. I wonder how everything stacks. We'll have to figure that out. But yeah, um, with that, I'm going to go back to reading my book. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.